Hey, welcome back to my Minecraft 1.7.10 pack plus series. We're still in Middle Earth here. Uh, these dwarves just actually appeared near my house, so... Ooh, Dwarven Forge for 45. I'm just looking to see what they have right now. Hefty Dwarven Throwing Axe. We don't really want that. Mm, I think really the forge is the only thing we want. We want to sell them anything, though. Tin, fish, copper, chicken, coal, sapphires. I think we might have a few sapphires. Let's have a look here. Um, no, we don't. I think we sold those, if we had any. Can't remember, but we're gonna, we need to take out 45 here. So let's just take out 14. We're gonna go with just this here. Take out 45 silver. So one thing I wish they could do is detect the money in the backpack, but it doesn't work that way. Is it you? Yeah, here's the coin guy. All right, let's pick up a Dwarven Forge. Nice. Okay, so we got that now. And what we're going to do today, I think, is we're going to go to Rivendell. Um, the greenhouse, I built myself a watering can here so I can get some stuff going in the greenhouse. I needed to get some more food made, but I also watered a lot of the other stuff here. So we got enough um, wheat going now, uh, lots of seeds, put a chest here to store extra stuff in. Um, but here's the pipe weed here. Um, oh yeah, all right, I think we have to, we got to break this. That's the one thing can't right click on the pipe weed. Wish we could, but that is not how it works. So we're just going to harvest the pipe weed. You know it's done because it's like smoking. Okay, so I'm going to harvest that and the flax here, the flax as well, because we want to make some string. Uh, some of the elven quests involve getting string for them, so we're going to um, bring a bunch of string along with us and we will be trading that with the elves and let's just finish putting this pipe weed down so these this is pipe weeds actually a good trade for the hobbits it's i think you get one silver per pipe weed so if you've got a good chunk of uh, pipe weed laid down you can get some good money in return so we're just going to throw our extra seeds in here and we got 26 pipe weed i'm going to leave the pipe weed in, pipe weed in there as well for now flax seeds we need because we're going to pick up the flax so let's go do this and we don't need a lot, like flaxseed wise. Um, I think we've got enough laid down here already. So, yeah, we want to go to Rivendell, do some quests for the elves there so we can get reputation so that when we do meet their um, wandering vendors and stuff, we can actually um, get some of the things that they're selling. I'll grab this. Excellent. So we're going to go on the workbench here, cotton, three cotton for a string. So we'll carry those string with us. Wheat we're going to cook up. Uh, flax, I believe you just drop in, you get one string per flax, which is awesome. So it's way better than having cotton, but the benefit of cotton is you can put um, nine in here and make uh, wool, which is great. You can do the same thing with string. Oh, I guess you can't. Oh, you can put four string in. Um, but, you know, just do that. Probably more efficient just to grow flax. Now that I think about it, well, nine flax. Well, it's the same. It really is the same, except we're not using up string. So actually, let's yeah, let's do this. We can break a few of these and get more than one seed back. So we're gonna fill, I think, at least this portion here up. So we'll do. Oh, we got three back. One, two, three, and then we'll take two flax seeds and we'll each and then put those there so we got a little bit more flax. Now we could grow more flax here as well um, for string. Actually probably let's do that. Let's put these last eight in here. And pipe weed. I don't think we need more pipe weed. I think we got lots growing here. Um, I think you get one silver per pipe weed. I'm pretty sure of it. I didn't get a seed back there. thought you always got a seed back but I guess not. There we go. Okay, so let's go back inside. Damn, did that bird get in there? He did. There we go, feather. Uh, you don't want rabbits and stuff to get in here because they will eat your crops. I don't know about birds. I don't know if birds actually grab the seeds, but I know rabbits will eat your, your crops, so you want to make sure you've got it completely enclosed so you don't have to have that problem. So we're going to put these guys in here. Uh, we got some more berries. Can keep the string on us. 
oh yeah the pipe we need to go outside but we want to bring our feathers out because we want to make some arrows um yeah let's make a stack of 60 well no let's not let's so i think we got some arrows already in here let's check our large pouch here yeah we got seven so let's make almost a full stack and we'll put our watering can in here actually let's take the watering can out so we're going to put these guys Dwarven Forge we can put down for now. Let's just put it down this end. And we want to do this with the wheat. So let's grab four coal. And we're going to cook these guys up half and half. Make it go a little faster here. There's some cooked mutton. Let's put that in here. That's Hobbit trade stuff. So we want to bring a few things with us that we can trade. I know the elves will go for string, but a lot of other things that they like to go for are um, things like um, different types of wood or different types of saplings or flowers or things like that, which we can get on the way or when we can get there. So I'm not really worried too much about those things. Those are the kind of things we can get while we're there. Uh, so we got 15 feathers. I don't know how many flint I have here. We got 17, good. So perfect, so we can make another whole set or a whole stack of arrows which we are definitely going to need so let's take those with us we're short how are we short one do we not have what happened there was i oh maybe i only had six uh that would make sense or no i'm miscalculating aren't i yeah i miscalculated them Brain not working well today. Okay, well, we got a stack in a bit. We'll might as well leave it in there. I'm gonna put the string in there for trading. We got more string here too. So let's take all well, let's leave. We'll take a full stack of string. I'm sure we'll find some on the way, but we'll take a full stack stack of string. I can't remember what else the elves might want. Food is mostly hobbits. So we're gonna go this way, I think. Uh, we're going to put the quest book away for now. So let's put it in here and we're going to read the riddle before we go too. So let's have a look at this book. We picked it up the other day. A flock of green butterflies held aloft with stiff string or so the wind whispers or so the wind sings. A self-raising tower grips me with its claws or so the earth rumbles or so the earth roars. What do they speak of? Hmm. Self-raising tower grips me with its claws. Huh. That I don't know. I'm, I'm awful with riddles. Uh, flock of green butterflies. Held aloft with stiff string. See that? I would probably say would be kites but unlikely oh leaves self-raising tower grips me with his claws so we're, they're talking about uh, trees trees right stiff string would be the would be the uh, trunk flock of green butterflies would be leaves right and then self-raising tower would be the, the trunk going up grips me with his claws would be the roots so I think they're speaking of trees that would be my guess. I think I got that one. That took me a minute. Okay, so we got that. Let's put this stuff in here. We do have some extra arrows. Let's take those with us. I didn't think I had that. Safari net, we're going to take that with us because I think we're going to try and pick up a cow or two while we're out uh, if we find any more safari nets. So we don't need to take the four leaf clovers because those are for hobbits only. So let's leave those here. Um, all this other stuff though is good for trading so let's put maybe we put our string let's put our arrows in here so our string is going to go in with our let's do this with all our trading stuff so we'll do that i'm going to keep the safari net out because we might use it uh do we have one in here i don't think we did no 
Actually, you know what? Let's throw it in here for now. The bed we want to keep out because we're going to be using it. The bow and arrow, we probably, in our travels, we're probably going to want to keep that out. Let's keep the t extra 10 arrows in here, though, just to save space. Um, water bucket, that's really for mining, but we'll take it with us anyway. We're going to need the osmium to make stuff. Our axe, we still have. It's not really good, but six damage is okay. Uh, a few torches, some bread. we got the rest of our bread here now. We're going to leave in the morning. We're not going to leave at night, obviously. That would be bad. So let's just rest here. Okay. We are ready to go. So, got everything we need. Let's get our bow down here. Okay. Uh, the thing we have to worry about is orcs when we're on our road here. So let's have a look at the map, and uh, not this map. Gotta keep remembering to use the right map here. Okay, so it's a long trek to get to um, Rivendell. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Forsaken Inn. There's no real inn there. Uh, if you guys are playing this and you want to go into creative mode, you can definitely grab some... Uh, they've, they've got, they've got pre-built buildings and towns and stuff that you can actually just drop in. So if you want to create a, a place here for when you travel here, you can certainly do that. I think I might do that at some point. I might just go to the, all the places that we have open and put something down just so that when we go there, there's something there. But right now, we're just going to go straight to the Forsaken Inn and we're going to hit I. Um, You'll notice, actually, when we have a chance to travel, I'll show you, but we have the um, waypoint here in Hobbiton is actually, the time for it is going down between travel, so it's 26 minutes, I think. So once we travel there, it's 26 minutes before we can travel again. Now when we're traveling to the Forsaken Inn, it's going to be 30 minutes before we can travel again, unfortunately. So we want to go east here, so we're going to head out this way. And what I'll do is, when I encounter something interesting, let's let this load in here for a second. When I encounter something interesting like I've always done, uh, I'll come back and I'll show you what's going on with it. Um, I'm not going to do any mining or any of that stuff unless there's some material that's really that I need or it's obvious that I can grab. Um, but we're going to make our way along here. And yeah, I'll uh, come back when I find something interesting. Okay, so we're about to pass into... Um, I don't know what you would call this really out here. The east, I guess. Lonelands. There's a tower over there. So you can see here, I've got the achievement uh, Lonely Land. So I'm in the Lonelands now. Now these towers here, these are old Gondorian towers, I believe. And on the top, there's a chest you can grab some loot from. So if you've got material to climb up there, um, you can definitely do it. There's no stairs on the inside, unfortunately, so it's not like you can actually wind your way up there. I'm hearing orcs. So yeah, so you can't get up this way, um, unfortunately, but... Rah! So let's grab some um, dirt here. We're going to make our way up. I think we need about 30 or so. I remember correctly. I think it's around 30. Uh, let's grab a couple more. Alright, I think it really depends on where you start, but I think it's around 30 or so. so let's, let's go right up uh, here. Getting lag spikes out here now because uh, it's loading the areas in. I find Middle Earth is a little bit laggy the first time you load the areas, but once you've loaded them, it's uh, pretty simple to um, get around. Yeah, so it is 30. Maybe a little less. Alright, so what do we got in here? Some iron, some silver, coins, and a keen iron sword, plus one melee damage. So let's grab that sword out for now. Alright, cool. So we're going to go to the medium pouch, put the coins in. Uh, silver ingots can also be traded, so we're going to put those in there as well. Then we're going to put our regular pouch. Let's just put um, the iron and the coal in there for now. And our blue dwarven axe is a backup weapon. And then we're going to take this because I like the looks of these stone chests. So I'd, I'd like to take these with me. Alright, cool. So let's get out of here. And what we're going to do is we're going to keep this stack of dirt on us at all times. Well, not all times, but while we're wandering through here because we can use it to climb up other towers. 
It's really a pain in the ass. I almost wish there was uh, stairs going up these towers, but... The other thing, too, is you can uh, knock, take the bricks out of this tower and make your own. Um, if you like the look of it. So, yeah, so now we just got to get back to the road. Okay, so I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so we've come across, across a couple things here. A uh, ranger tower, which is good to know. And then this old fort over here. Now, usually there's a chest in here you can grab some stuff out of. Um, but the problem with these is some, I've run into um, bands of orcs sometimes. So, or uh, uh, bandits. So I like to make my way, my way in as fast as possible, smash the chest and get out. Just in case, but we're next to a, a, a Gondorian tower, so that's good. Oh, there's a well here too. So I'll have to dig our way down there. So actually, let's go in this way. Now usually, on one of the corners, there it is. We're going to take the whole thing. Sort it out later, but we'll take the whole thing and get out of here. I'm not really a big fan of this brick. It's Angmar brick. I just heard something there for a second. Probably a rabbit. Alright, we're going to make our way down here though. Yeah, so the Angmar brick I'm not a big fan of. Um, the Dwarven brick I don't mind. When you get to the Misty Mountains you can find Dwarf brick there. Dwarven brick. So let's do this and get rid of the water. And then we can do this. Ah, no chest. I don't know if you always get one or not. Let me go down a bit more here. Yep, probably not. Okay, well, there you go. Learn something new every day. So we got, let's see here, an Orc Torch, Traveler's Tale Part 2, Sharp Stone Sword, which we don't need, Piece of Leather, Silver Nuggets, hey, Lucky Iron Sword, plus one Looting Luck. Okay, cool, if we're killing animals we can use that. And a small pouch, nice. So let's add that small pouch to the green one. We got a large green pouch, or light, or dyed green pouch, or whatever you want to call it. And some more Orc Steel, another Tiki Torch, cool. Uh, let's not grab the iron. We don't need it right now. What we do need to do is get out of here, though. All right, cool. So we're going to keep moving along. Unfortunately, we didn't find anything in the well. The roads here in uh, the Lone Lands are actually hard to sometimes see. So you got to be aware um, of where you're going. So if you move off the road and you're looking back, you really sometimes can't see where the road is. So you just got to be aware of that uh, and know what direction it's in. Because as you can see here, like if you're off to the side, you won't be able to see this really. Uh, is that guy an, a bandit or an oddments collector? Oh shit, it's a bandit! He took something. He took my uh, one of my axes. Why am I not hitting him? There we go. Guy. Yeah, look what he took. Oh, the bastard! Another guy! Scared me there for a second. All right. I don't think it was just a two. I think it was just a two. Did I lose anything here? Doesn't look like it. Okay, they took my they took a lot of stuff. They took my hardy axe. They took my iron sword. They took one of my pouches. They took, I mean, I don't know. It's the thing you gotta watch out, right? That's why I said you gotta be careful when you see bandits because they're just gonna steal your stuff. And if you don't see them until it's too late, they'll just like rip you off and run away. I've had it where I've had it, got attacked by like three guys and um, they ran in three different directions and I didn't get all my stuff back. I've lost like pouches and things like that so you just gotta be aware. I'm just killing the chickens because um, I need, I need uh, feathers for more arrows later on. Alright so I'm gonna come back if I find something else new. Um, try to avoid... oh there's another thing over there. Let's go look at that first. Uh, try to avoid um, bandit attacks as best I can. I think this is a Gondorian fort. It's just a regular brick. I don't think there's anything in this one, but we're gonna go look. I mean, if you want, you can keep looking for four leaf clovers too. I'm not sure if you're gonna find them outside the Shire. I don't know if I have. I don't really pay too much of attention when I'm outside the Shire to those because I'm more worried about uh, bandits, like I said. Oh, that was a good loot. What do we get out of that? Average bow. So let's ditch the average bow. We don't need that. Hulking sharp iron sword. Half melee damage and plus two knockback. Let's hang out of that for a second. Bronze. Uruk steel. 
Okay, cool. That wasn't too bad. Alright, so I'll be back in a few minutes. If I find anything interesting, we'll come back. Alright, so we found ourselves another orc camp. What you can do with these guys now that you got a bow, you don't really need to engage them right out. You can just engage them from range. There we go. Dunedain friend. Dunedain friend. So we've got ourselves a little bit more crap here. Yeah, a few more of those. Rotten flesh we don't really need. I mean, oddments collectors will sometimes take rotten flesh off your hands as, as well as maggoty bread and stuff, but I, I don't really want that stuff. We've already got those for decoration. Plus, I don't want to really be carrying them around right now. Anything else in here? A couple of bones. We'll take them. All right, so we'll be back in a second again. Well, it looks like we found a couple things here. We found a ranger camp. They don't really have anything in it. I can't talk to them yet, um, the Dunedain, but this looks like a Hillman house down there. I'm just going to check out what's in here. Some iron, pebbles for sling bolts, but don't really care. So the Hillman of Arudor also inhabit um, the Lonelands as well. You'll find random houses down here. Now, right now, I don't think they are hostile. Yeah, he's not hostile. He's actually got a quest. Slay Dun Dunedain of the North. But we're not going to do that because we're allied with them. So, we're going to kill you instead. So, minus one Angmar and Rudor Hillman. So, what do they got in here? Hardy Longsword, Angmar Pickaxe, Long Bronze Sword, and some leather. We'll take the leather. Um, so, I just want to show you a few things here. Let's close the door just in case. Um, we're going to just go to the pouch. I found a few things along the way. Um, there's a couple of... Uh, um, towers, an Angmar fortress. We picked up an uh, Angmar poleaxe, uh, poison Mordor dagger, um, another iron sword, iron dagger. So there's a few things we, we picked up along the way. So we're just going to drop this stuff in here. Going to keep going. We found we've got so much, like a fair bit of cash too. We got like three stacks of uh, single in, um, silver coins. So when we get to Rivendell, we're going to have to find someone that we can exchange the coins and get bigger denominations so we're not carrying as many uh, stacks of coins around in our bag. Free up a few, few slots. I think what I'm going to do too is I'm going to swap these swords around before I destroy this guy. I don't want to lose that keen sword. We're going to fix that a little later on. Okay, so I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I just got the notice that Gundabad wargs have started an invasion nearby. I have no idea where though. Uh, yeah, where would they be? You really got to be careful because there's they come in waves and there's lots of them. So, not really sure if I want to tackle them on, tackle them right now. They don't show up on the mini-map, so it's not like you can spot them that way. But there is a sword that kind of appears in the air where the spawn point is. But I don't see anything anywhere here. There's a ranger camp up there. I don't think I really want to engage these wargs though, but I'm just moving to see if I can show you where we are, or show them where you are. Also too, um, we've been going for quite a while, we're not even close to Weathertop yet. We've, got, we've been running for half an hour, and this is how far we've got from the Forsaken Inn. So as you can see, it's a long way to Rivendell, so we're going to make a jump to the last bridge, right after we find out where these wargs are. Okay, did you hear the horn? That's where the, those are the wargs. There it is right there. Somehow it was behind us. So we need to be careful. I don't see any wargs yet. But sometimes you can just get overwhelmed. There's like four or five of them that just kill you. There's another one down there too. So which one is which? Which one is which? I have no idea. Um... Gundabad is probably that one. Although I don't see anybody showing up. There they are. Shoot. Here he comes. One down. 
so they can see you from pretty far like unlike the unlike the uh, mobs in Minecraft where you can shoot them from a distance they don't really see you these guys on the other hand so I have to drop down now because that was the first wave was that the only wave no there they are Just playing this smart. I don't want to. Uh... So they're outside of my range now. So that guy's dead. That guy's dead. There's the third guy. Yeah, works can see you from a good distance. I guess smell you. We're getting some good rep though with these guys. There's usually several waves. Sometimes you get like four or five. I don't trust. There they are. There's a certain time. Yikes, too many. So there's some riders. Those are Hillmen from Rudor. And we need to get out of here. Too many. And these guys will follow you for quite some time. So hopefully we get some good stuff off these guys. We're going to bail after this because I don't think I can uh, keep this up. Try to loot this stuff and get out of here and eat something first. We're running out of arrows. we got 17 left. Let's bring the rest of our arrows out. we got 39 now. Cool. Ooh. Don't want to get into a swinging battle with guys. Looks like a warg head. Yeah, there's a Rudor one right there, too. That's like three of these in one spot. I've never seen that before. That's crazy. Yeah, man, I am definitely not going to stay around here. I don't think we got all that great of loot either. Work skin rug. Belong to gun bed work. Cool. I guess I can drop that somewhere at home. I'm gonna keep all the bone meal or the bones, because we can use it as bone meal. Let's drop this in here. I definitely want that rug at home though. Uh, let's keep the arrow. Work drought uh, draft. I don't know. Let's just hang on to that for now. We might pitch it. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, I'm gonna fast travel now. I don't really want to hang out here and probably get killed. So there's a f thing over here too we could check out, but I don't want. I'm just gonna go. So let's go to um, Last Bridge. Press I. On our way. Nice. So those are the encounters. Usually you only get one, but getting three, like it's like Angmar Wargs. I don't know where the frig these guys are from. Gun to bed probably. Three of them. We got Rudor Hillman too. That's crazy. All right, into the last bridge, we're heading east. So, we're pretty close. Is there anything on the map here? There's a camp up here, probably an orc camp. Not really that interested in that. Let's go to the map real quick. So, if it took us a half an hour to go from Forsaken Inn to almost to Weathertop, it's gonna take us probably like an hour of real time to get here. Like in, like not game, like not game time, but real time, real life time. To get to the Fort of the Bruins. So I'm going to go along here. I'm not going to go to the Troll Shaws. Um, just going to head straight to Rivendell. And uh, yeah, if I find anything exciting, um, I'll come back. But uh, if I don't, then, well, I'll see you in Rivendell. Okay, so we've been traveling quite a while now. 
Uh, encountered a few forts, picked up some stuff along the way. We're almost there, probably another 15 minutes of real time to travel that distance. We came across a Rudor town here. Rudorian town. So we're going to take these guys out. Uh, they already don't like us, so if we were to go in the town, they're going to attack us anyway. But we're going to attempt to take these guys out. Now, I think they're probably just in their houses. Maybe not. Maybe we get lucky and we can grab some stuff. Oh, potatoes. We need those. Bronze axe. Bronze. No, we need those. I've been, uh, I picked up a couple of, or uh, another pouch, which is a good thing. Ow. I need a wooden sword, that guy. Don't need that. Bronze throwing axe. Don't need that. Long Angmar dagger. Don't need that. I gotta be careful about what I'm taking now. Ow. Okay, what do we get there? I think that's an Angmar pole axe. Six and a half. I'm hanging on to this stuff because I want to put it in um, put it in a gallery. There's a chest on top of that over there. Maybe we can find some more arrows. It's one thing that I'm lacking right now is arrows. So he had a dagger, so he's gonna attack faster, right? What do we get? Another pole axe. Let's do this. Fully fixed pole axe. Plus one looting luck. What do they got here? Anmar pickaxe. Don't need that. We'll take the sticks, because why not? Uh, I don't know what that book is. I don't think I have that yet. Raw venison. Swift Angmar Warhammer. That's really great damage and knockback. That's uh, that's a potential weapon to use against trolls or something. Gonna hang on to that for now. And we're gonna go up here and check out what's on top. If I find anything inter interesting, I'll come back. Otherwise, I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, so we're still on our way to Rivendell. Almost there. Having a look at the map, we're pretty darn close. But we found a group of uh, Rudor Hillmen over here. So... I mean, you can find groups of these guys just wandering around, like groups of four or more. Um, and if you want, you can just target and kill them, which is what I'm going to do. You can see that's a little, they're a little bit tough, right? So we're getting high elven friend here now. Because these guys are like right by uh, the elves, right? And I think they're the uh, Rudorian, uh, they're not just hillmen, they're Rudorian, um, Soldiers. I think they just can't see me because I'm too far away. So that's a little bit of experience with the elves there. Uh, you don't get very much for those guys, a couple points each, but it's still uh, worth it to uh, grab as many points as you can as you're on your way there. So, okay, I'll be back once I get, once I get to uh, Rivendell. Okay, so we finally arrived at the elven lands. Here we are. So there's a Dunedain uh, tower right there. But then the elves are like right here. So it's the same um, basic elves as you would find in Linden. There we go. Hidden Valley. Not so hidden though. Excellent. But you'll find elven buildings all over the place here, which is kind of cool. So you can get in here and you can uh, um, easily find quests and stuff like that and easily find the buildings. It's the Rivendell crafting table, so you're going to need to craft your own crafting table. Um, once again, you can steal stuff from the buildings. They're basically the same buildings as the uh, other ones, but you can find different items in the chests, and there's different alcohol and things like that here. So I'm going to wander around a little bit. Um, I think we got to cross the river, really, to uh, fully get into where we're going. Um, I think this is supposed to be the Fort of the Brunin, but I don't think there is a... Um, I don't think there's a bridge across here anywhere. So we're just going to swim it across. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to try and get our rep up with the elves. Now that I'm drowning. Um, we're going to get our rep up with the elves as best we can by trying to do as many quests as we can here. And then once we've got our rep up with them, then we're going to try to, like, we'll just build a house here. Um, and I may create a waypoint here so we can go back and forth to the house in Rivendell. And between, like, um, our house in Hobbiton right now and our house in Rivendell. Because this is going to be a good staging area for going into the Misty Mountains. 
the Misty Mountains are close by, um, so it uh, this provides a good place to keep all our stuff. This guy wants me to kill 14 trolls. As much as I'd love to be able to do that, uh, not right now, buddy. Sorry. All right, so let's go see what they've got in this building. Once again, I don't want to steal anything. I want to be able to make all my own stuff, but you know, turnips, leeks, things like that. You can make different food and stuff here. Uh, Ranger's Guide Volume 1, uh, Rivendell, Enduring Rivendell Sword. So the actual regular sword here is plus 7 damage. So you can make their banners and all that stuff too. So you can outfit your place with banners. So I'm going to wander around. I'm going to look for some quests here. Uh, try to find a pretty good spot to build a house. Uh, and then I'm just going to kind of put some stuff down for now. Um, let's have a look at just the regular map here. Yeah, so there's a regular. Here's the road that goes straight into to uh, Rivendell. Uh, there's no town or anything there, but um, I'm gonna follow the road in, and um, once I get in there, then um, at, at the end of the road is probably where I'll make my house. So let's go do that. Actually, you know what? When I get there, I'll come back. If I find any good quests, I'll show you what they are. But for the most part, the quests are pretty simple. Uh, you know, slaying gathering items, stuff like that. So I'll be back in a few minutes once I've reached the uh, center of Rivendell. Alright, so I've reached the end of the road here and we are in the middle of Rivendell. So if we go to the map here, I just put on the High Elves rep what we, what we have for them right now. So we're kind of in the center of Rivendell here, right at the dot. So it's perfect. So we can fast travel right here. So if we build a house here, then this is where um, we'll be fast traveling to. And there's a nice big flat area here we can, we can uh, build a house in. And if we want to build up on hills, there's places up here. There's a few houses around where the elves live, so it's kind of nice. Um, I don't think there's anything. Let's find out what's over this hill here. Uh, so there will be elves spawning. The great thing about this place, like the Shire, is that we don't have to worry about um, mobs spawning at night here. Because the elves obviously have this place well protected. So you don't have to worry about any of that stuff. So you can work day and night here. I'm getting lots of lag right here because it's still loading the area in. But um, yeah, so this is where our house is going to be, right here in the center of Rivendell. Probably build it on that side over there. We'll knock that, that uh, great wood tree down and uh, flatten up the surface over here a bit and make a nice uh, elven house here. So is this actually a cave here? It is, so we have a nice area to go down and do some mining in, which is great. All right, so this will be our area now for building a house. So let's just grab this dirt. I'm just going to drop it down here. Yeah, I don't think, I don't, I mean, I don't really think the elves would uh, want me building here, but since I don't have the wrap yet, but once again, this is, this is uh, Minecraft, so don't have to be 100% lore specific here. Okay, so we're just going to use up this dirt here real quick. Something like that. So now we got a nice big flat area we can build a house on. Uh, and I think probably I'm out of time for today, so I'm going to end my episode here. We did pick up a fair amount of stuff. I built a Rivendell crafting table. We got like uh, three medium pouches. We picked up a small pouch to make this one here bigger uh, and this one bigger. Um, picked up a few other items, stuff that we can display on our walls and all that. We got lots of stuff. I picked up a saddle too at some point, a uh, crossbow. We got the work skin rug, which is kind of cool. I want to try and put that down and see what that looks like. Um, what else do we get here? Some books, Arnorian helmet, uh, Angmar leggings, Mordor leggings, Arnorian leggings. We got some keen swords. This is the original one that we found, and I found a second one. So we got two of those. I can't actually mix them together because it'll change what they are. Uh, and then what else do we find here? Some tin and copper ore, swift Angmar hammer, which is kind of nice. Whole bunch of books, uh, Arnorian spears. I picked up a potato, which is great, so we can grow stuff. And these ones here are empty. So, and then in here, you can see how we picked up a ton of cash. We're gonna have to find a uh, a uh, someone like a vendor that we can trade with, so that we can um, convert the uh, cash into larger denominations, so we're not carrying around so much. But I did find us some bronze and some iron, a whole bunch of gold, tons of silver. Um, a little bit of string, but not much. I didn't find any gems or anything. But uh, yeah, we did really well for today, um, wandering around. Um, that was a long journey. That was like probably like an hour and a half, almost two hours of real time. If we go to the home here, so 
we teleported from here, just between Hobbiton and Waymeet, to Forsaken Inn. We ran almost to Weathertop. We teleported to here, then we had to run all the way here. So that was a couple of hours of actual gameplay. So it is, you know, this world is massive. If you look at how big it is, right, it's huge. Like if, like this is a couple of hours of running. If you were to run all the way down here, you're talking a couple of days worth of running. So it's kind of cool. Um, the fact that there, once you open up an area, you can just basically teleport uh, back and forth uh, really cuts down your travel time. So what you want to do is try and open up as many areas as you possibly can as early as you can. So once we finish Rivendell, I'm probably just going to go into the mountains here just to open up some of the areas here. Uh, I might go over to the troll shaws, kill some trolls. Um, but opening all that up will get you down here to Mount Mythadris. Uh, going to Tharbad and crossing over here will get us the ability to travel down to the Fords of Aizen. Um, and once we get to the across the Fords of Aizen, we open up pretty much all of this down here. And then we can cross here, open up um, our Norian realm. And then um, once that's done, we'll have access to a lot of the areas. And then we're going to travel through, the, through Harad too eventually at some point because this is like a long way to travel. you got to go here to Minas Tirith. Head south, that opens up this up here, Pelagir. Then you gotta kinda go to the crossing of Poros. Then you gotta go all the way down here to open up this guy. Uh, once you get that, then you have to cross the desert. And the thing about this desert is you take damage as you cross it. So if you don't cross at nighttime, you're taking damage continuously. And if you cross at night, you're always you know, gonna be encountering stuff. So it's tough. There's like half trolls down here. Uh, this is all vol volcanic, volcanic realm down here. So I haven't been all over. Um, I haven't been out here before. There's Red Mountains. There's lots of place to go to, uh, but we're going to build like some houses in like a lot of the uh, good areas. Haven't been in Workburg before. I've been to the edge of the forest. It's pretty dark uh, forest, obviously. I want to get up to Erebor. Um, so yeah, we're going to build a house here. Uh, I think over the next few episodes, get some rep with the elves. So yeah, we want to go back and forth between uh, Hobbiton and Rivendell. Um, so now we'll be able to quickly do that. Waymead is actually a quick travel. It's only 22 minutes now. Um, the more we travel back and forth between these places, the lower the time will go down. So if I click on Rivendell, you can see it's 30 minutes. So, you know, right now when we come back here, it'll be a 30 minute wait before we can jump again or travel again. Uh, but we've gone to Waymead a couple times and now it's only 22 minutes. So it'll drop the more we go. Which is great. I've had it down to like four minutes before, which is which is really good. You just go one place, hang around for four minutes, and come back. So it's great.